please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Title, Handling Query Dict Object Attribute Error in Django Introduction When working with Django, you may encounter a common issue where you try to access an attribute on a query dict object, and it raises an attribute error, stating that the object has no such attribute. This tutorial will guide you through understanding this issue and provide a solution using code examples. The query dict class in Django is used to represent a query string or form data in a dictionary-like fashion. It is commonly used in Django views to handle get or post request parameters. However, attempting to access an attribute on a query dict object that doesn't exist can lead to an attribute error. Let's consider a scenario where you're trying to access a subject attribute from a query dict object, and it's resulting in an attribute error. If the subject parameter is not present in the query string, this code will raise an attribute error because the subject attribute doesn't exist in the query dict object. To handle this situation gracefully, you should use the get method provided by the query dict class. The get method allows you to retrieve the value for a given key and returns none if the key is not present. In this updated code, the get method is used to retrieve the value of subject. If subject is present in the query string, it will be assigned to subject underscore value. If not, subject underscore value will be set to none, allowing you to handle the absence of subject without raising an attribute error. By using the get method, you can avoid query dict object attribute errors when dealing with request parameters in Django views. This ensures that your code is more robust and can gracefully handle cases where certain parameters may be missing in the request. ChatGPT